So I wanted to talk about the past week that I've had and just an update overall on what's been going on because I know I haven't posted in a little bit. Um, part of it, or you know, basically the main reason, is because I was helping out with uh, immersion program here with um, Michael Sartin, and my roommate is actually the one who operates that program here in Vegas, and so I was helping out with some things there, and. Uh, I think, yeah, you know, I just want to talk about a couple of takeaways. And I think the biggest takeaway is the power of environment and the people that you're around. And I know this is a pretty obvious one and a lot of people talk about it, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's a great reminder of when you're around the right sort of people, the people that you can look up to, the people that you can learn from. And when you're in the right sort of environment that's going to push you, that's going to challenge you, that's going to allow you to cultivate skills that take you to the next level and to sharpen your mindset and to move things forward. I feel like that's really where oftentimes you begin to feel the most alive. And, you know, it's interesting because I would say the last couple of years, uh, last few years, maybe I would say the last, you know, four years or so where I've been traveling, I've been living abroad uh, internationally in places where it's it's very like a laid back easy lifestyle um, it was great and it allowed me time to focus and it allowed me time to work on some business endeavors and things like that at the same time I've noticed that you know especially last year I began to feel a bit complacent and being back in an environment that challenges you that allows you to grow yourself and also to help others grow. And for me, that's brought a lot more fulfillment back into you know, who I am and, and the way I live. And I would say that, that this is something that can be important for a lot of people, right? Uh, I think a lot of times, like I said, complacency can start to feel like you're just in your comfort zone all the time. And it's not until you put yourself in an environment that challenges you and put yourself around people that challenge you, that you're able to grow from that. So I just want to share that really quickly because this past week has been steps in that direction for myself. And I think once again, another level to that is being able to help others grow as well. Being able to utilize whatever skill sets that you have, whatever gifts that you have. And I do believe that every person has a gift. They have something that they can give to the world and I think it's a shame that some people never allow that to be expressed throughout their life so honestly for me as a coach one of my personal aims is to help bring that out of people to recognize the potential in someone and to help allow them to express what their gift is and to be able to share that right so I do that from a place of putting people in challenging social situations and things like that. Um, we definitely saw a lot of that this past week. It's been crazy, honestly. Um, but at the same time, you know, once again, this, this piece of content is really just a reminder of if you're feeling comfortable in your life right now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Don't judge yourself for it. If you feel like you're complacent, if you feel like you're not moving forward, because here's the thing is a lot of times gurus out there will tell you you should feel guilty about it. You know, you should feel like you're not doing anything with your life and feel bad about yourself and things like that. They'll kind of shame you into taking action. And I think that they have good intentions, right? They want to help you. They want you to be able to step out of your comfort zone so that you can grow. At the same time, for me, what I find is more helpful is to not necessarily feel bad about it, but just recognize where you're at, have some awareness around it. Because naturally, through awareness, you start to naturally take action. It's kind of like, if you want to lose weight, let's say you're overweight and you want to lose weight, just step on the scale every day and you have that awareness present in your mind every single day and what you'll notice is that your behaviors will start to change. You'll start to eat differently, you'll start to work out um, more often or differently, more frequently, whatever it is, right? You'll start to change and adapt your behavior around this awareness that you now have. So anyway, once again, put yourself in environments where you feel the most alive, fulfilled, energized to be able to grow. 
and also surround yourself and put yourself in a peer group that will do the same for you. And that's it for now. Talk to you later. Take care.